Check it out, guys. Inbound leads, inbound calls, outbound leads, and outbound calls. Why are they both important and how can they complement each other? Welcome, everybody, to the Paul Cruz Show. I hope you're having a very successful week. It's two days before Thanksgiving. And uh, hopefully on Thanksgiving, when you're with your family and friends, that you truly thank the one who should be thanked on Thanksgiving. That's God the Almighty. Because I know that without him, we have nothing. We have no food. We have we don't have the air we breathe. We don't have anything. So really think about that, guys. Thank you for being part of the Paul Cruz Show. What I want to talk about today is inbound leads and outbound leads. I talk about social media a lot with business associates and customers that I call online. And one of the things that I'm learning is I like to anticipate five steps down the road. You know, what changes are going to happen why they're going to happen so that I could stay ahead of the curve. And one of the things that I'm noticing that the word social media is having a bad connotation right now. It's so saturated, you know, because I think people use it for the wrong reasons or they really don't understand, but they talk a lot about it. To me, social media is an industry. So you should treat your social media or what I call your business online's presence as if you as you treat your what I call brick and mortar, it should not be any different. One of the things that I've learned, especially with the young generation or what they call millennials, I don't really like that word, but it's part of the language that's out there is everything's about inbounds. How do you get leads quick from online, whether it's your website, whether it's your, you know, your social media and things like that. But one of the things that I've also learned is you still have to be able to take those leads and convert them. Now, I'm not saying no one does it, but the leads that are received compared to the percentage that are being converted is very low. And the reason why I believe that is, is because people or the young generation or the young business owners don't like doing what I call the right work or the grunt work. That's either the follow call or the cold calling. So why are inbound leads or why is outbound leads just as important, if not more important, than inbound leads? When you do outbound calls, cold call, or call to action, however you want to categorize it. When you have to take the action, you're going to become a more proficient, effective salesperson and consistent closer, which means you're going to be able to convert more deals or you're going to be able to convert more leads into sales or deals. Does that make sense? So just think about this. If you learn the art of cold calling online, or cold calling on social media. And you're able to learn how to convert more leads or high percentage leads into sales. Imagine what you can do when you're getting inbound leads or inbound calls, people calling you for your service and, and, and products. Think about that. So there has to be a balance. Because you could get a lot of inbound leads, but if you're not able to convert those into sales and you're basically going to be wasting good leads, does that make sense? So one of the things that I do personally is I take action on social media. I make the phone calls. I convert leads into sales. I've been cold calling and doing outbound calls for over 30 years. And what's happening with social media with so much technology and everything changing so fast, sometimes we lose the personal touch. You know, you get all these emails, all these email follow, that's well and good. And there's some successes with that. But I think ultimately we all as human beings, as salespeople, as customers, as business owners, we want that personal interaction, don't you? 
Think about that. So all you young salespeople, entrepreneurs, business owners, or small business owners, telemarketers, if you have a call center, you need to think about why it's important to establish and develop the right training and the right way to do outbound calls or convert outbound leads into sales so that you could be more effective and more consistent in closing and converting inbound leads into sales. If you can establish a combination of both, you're going to be much more successful than you are right now. Absolutely, no doubt about that. The thing about outbound calls or leads, in the beginning, it seems like tedious work. I call it the grunt work, but it's the right work. And majority of the people I speak with online, they think I'm crazy doing that, but it works. It really does. So I want you to think about that, guys. How do you combine inbound calls or inbound leads with outbound leads and outbound calls? Very, very important. They're both important. But I believe in the beginning, the most important thing is to learn how to become masterful and learn the art of cold calling online on social media or your business media, however you want to describe it. Very important you do that because once you're able to do that and then you build an automated lead process for leads coming in, you're going to be able to close a lot more deals. Trust me when I tell you that. It's just the way it is. So think about that, guys. Inbound calls, Inbound leads, outbound calls, outbound leads, you still got to know how to convert them into sales. Does that make sense? So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I want to thank you for listening and watching my video podcast. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it gives you something to really think about. Uh, if you want to you know, get a hold of me, you can visit me on my YouTube channel at The Paul Cruz Show. If you like the video, uh, please smash the like button. You can share it with others. Also subscribe and also share your comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me directly, you can email me at the Paul Cruz Show, the number five at gmail.com. I want to thank you for watching. Till we speak again, thank you again for being part of the Paul Cruz Show. Have a great day. Bye for now.